Thanks for tuning in. I'm Karen Lair with a look at your top news headlines for Saturday, November 16th. A 70 year old crouch man is being held at the Ada County Jail this weekend after officials say he was shooting at passing cars through bedroom window. Police were called around 3 o'clock Friday afternoon. The ISP SWAT team went into the home and then took Terry Sims into custody. He is now charged with aggravated assault, illegal discharge of a weapon, and resisting or obstructing officers. The Boise County Sheriff's Office is now investigating. A Boise police officer was hit head on by the suspected drunk driver he was out looking for. The department shared this photo on social media last night. The officer was called to Hill Road near Forsythia for the report of a drunk driver. The officer spotted the car, slowed down and pulled all the way over to the right side of the road before being hit. The driver was arrested for driving under the influence. Luckily, no one was injured. Early voting for the December 3rd Boise mayoral runoff election starts on Monday. Neither incumbent Mayor Dave Beter nor his challenger, City Council President Lori McLean, received more than 50% of the vote, so they will be facing off again. Even though it will be a simple ballot with just those two candidates, some voters may still be confused. You know, I think one of the big challenges of this election, it is just for Boise residents only. So you may have a Boise mailing address, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you live within the city of Boise. So it's worth checking to make sure you're eligible before you head to the polls. Um, you can do that by visiting adacountyelections.com. There are only two places where you can vote in this runoff election. That would be at Boise City Hall on Capitol Boulevard downtown and at the county elections headquarters at 400 North Benjamin Lane. Now, Steve Liebenthal with Beyond Your Side Forecast. And pretty decent weekend starting out on Saturday, right in the middle of November with uh, some sunshine and temperatures warmer than average in mountain locations, quite a bit warmer than average. We still have a weak inversion and we have an air stagnation advisory in effect that goes until around Monday afternoon. And then a change starts to come our way. High pressure will control our weather right through Sunday and right through Monday as well. But we have a couple of storm systems lining up over the Pacific Ocean. One of those expected to move in on Tuesday. It won't bring a high likelihood of precipitation to the valley, but a very good chance of rain and or snow showing up in the central mountains of Idaho, depending on your elevation. And there is a chance we will see a shower on Tuesday. On Sunday evening, some showers moving into the central mountains from McCall northward up through Riggins and then up uh, into, uh, well, the areas north of our viewing area uh, could be some showers up in the Panhandle and down into the Clearwater Mountains. But here in southwest Idaho, just a little bit of cloud cover and then those skies will clear out again. We'll have plenty of sunshine going through Monday. The change coming for us on Tuesday as an area of low pressure moves in and hopefully that will kind of clean the valley out of that air that will probably continue to get polluted over the next few days. 57 year afternoon high on Sunday up into the 60s on Monday and then that storm system comes in on Tuesday with a slight chance of showers in the valley, a good chance of rain and snow on the mountains and then temperatures dropping towards more average afternoon highs for November by next Saturday. For the latest news headlines and up to the minute forecast, go to sixonyourside.com.